Thank you for checking in on How To AF. Today, we're gonna fix this right here. All right, and then this other spot right down here. Okay. We're gonna take care of them two things today. Went to Lowe's and I, uh, I picked up I picked up this really good stuff here it's called the uh, get it out of this bag right here tub and shower repair kit okay we got professional results in minutes read directions all right here we go Everything you need to make repairs to minor nicks and gouges on gel coat, acrylic, porcelain tubs, sinks, showers, fiberglass, boats, surfboards, and laminate countertops. Wow. This does everything. All right. So we got to enlarge the chip or gouge. All right. Wipe it clean. Remove half the jar of paste, four to six drops of the uh, hardener. Apply it with the wooden uh, tool. Wait one to three hours or until materials harden. And sand it with the 400, move it to the 600, and then we polish it. Temperature must be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit during the entire process. Okay, so we are going to have to go adjust the air right now. All right, well, I'll come back to you when we get that air condition uh, at 60 degrees. All right, guys, so I'm back here. We are ready to open this up. See what we got inside. All right, that's, that's it. That's all we got. So we got the putty paste. Okay, and we got some sandpaper, some hardener, alcohol pad, and some polish in there. Alright, well here's everything out of that little package right there that came in this box. So here we go, we got uh, 400 grit sandpaper, 600 grit sandpaper, ah, tongue depressor, alcohol prep pad, Liquid hardener, poxy putty, and a 99 cents polish. All right, so we're going to go with this right here. Let me zoom in for you a little bit. That helps me out too. Just get in here and work this a little bit. You can see that. <laughs> Just gonna let that sandpaper do its job. See that already? Not looking too bad. Now, I was wondering, how did this happen? I mean, somebody must have some serious toenails in here to to chip this stuff up. You know? That's pretty good. Now, let's get this one up here. So we got that spot done. Alright, so we did the uh, step one. Step one. 
enlarge chip or gouge. All right. Make sure surrounding area is clean. Wipe with alcohol pad. Uh, then we start mixing the gel paste, apply it, and then wait. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up here with this alcohol pad we got. And uh, we'll clean these up with this alcohol pad. All right, you guys ready for this? Look at that. Surrounding area is clean. You get this spot right here. Get this little guy. All right. So we got two spots clean. Let me mix this stuff up. All right. So like I said, I picked this stuff up at Lowe's. At my Lowe's, it was nineteen ninety nine. And uh, let's take this little pin, hopefully right in here. There we go, we got a little pinhole action. That should be plenty. We'll put the cap back on that. Now I said to scoop up half of this. I'm not going to scoop out half of it. I am going to mix it up though really good before I take any out. Oh wow, this is this is some strong smelling stuff right here. Mmm, it smells like I'm back in the boatyard. Yep, some good gel coat right here. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little dab. Do a little more right there too. Alright. All right, so half the jar is six to seven drops, so I don't have half. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this and put a couple drops on here. six I put on there. I'll we'll just mix this up really good. It's gonna probably kick up really quick. Mix this up. Alright guys, so we're over here. See how I got this? Keep in mind I got the camera right in my hand still Alright, that's one down guys. That was pretty easy. Filling it up a little more. Alright there. So that's that one. That's that one. Now, wait for them to dry. 
You can't even see that down there anymore. So we'll come back, wait for that to dry, and uh, I'll go over the sanding process with you. All right, so uh, see you guys in about an hour. Hey guys, how's it going? We're back in here, and uh, it's been about an hour now, so uh, I'm going to check this stuff right here. See if it even hardened. It's kind of hard. Let's take a little sandpaper, see if it's even workable like that. I mean, it, it seems like it, it probably could use some more time. Yeah, it needs a little more time. So that's one hour right now. Um, I'm going to come back here, let's say another hour, and uh, see what's going on, if it got a little harder. It did say uh, one to three hours it could take to get hardened. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that cure, get it nice and hard, and then uh, start wet sanding. Alright, I'll see you in another hour. Alright, we're back. So we let this stuff cure for about two hours now. And uh, here I am, I'm wet sanding this. I got the uh, 400 grit. And that's about all I'm doing right there, is just a little bit of sanding light pressure and uh, yeah you can't even see it anymore and that's the uh, 400 I gotta get a little bit more of this sanding going on here with the 600 grit wet it up a little bit come back to it and just let the sandpaper do the work <laughs> All right, well, I don't see it anymore. All right, so we got this one down here. It's right here. So this, this has like a texture to it already. I think I'll just take that edge off and make it a little smooth. Ooh. The color match is pretty good too. I mean, it's it's pretty much spot on. This is the white. They also make this in bone color, they call it. So, uh... Yeah, just sand it out. Feels pretty good. I'm do this one here. Lost it. <laughs> what a good job. I can't even tell where it's at. Well, Alright guys, well, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Can't even tell. Don't even I don't even know where it was at now. So I still have this other stuff, this polish. Right here. 
I mean, I guess we could give that a shot and see what happens with that. So, uh, do this polish. I'm not quite sure. Let me dry it off. it guys it's gone looks really good alrighty hold that up a little bit polish away All right, guys, we're back. You can see the uh, end results. No more cracks. All gone. Can't even tell. So smooth. Looks great. So yeah, that's how you do it. Super easy. The hardest part is waiting the time for the uh, gel coat to cure. Then you just gotta sand it. Uh, the, the color might be off just a little bit, um, but I'm sure over time it'll end up blending itself in. Um, that's it. It looks pretty good. Definitely solved the problem. We're not going to have any more leaks down there in the bottom. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. All right. This is how to AF. Take it easy.